This video is in response to a friend of mine that was talking to me about some kind of a thesis that she was going to write on video game addiction. And I can tell you some stuff from personal experience uh, about video game addiction. First of all, how does it start? Well, basically it starts like this. You have a kid, he doesn't have a lot of friends, or maybe he does have a lot of friends, but maybe he either he's too sick to play with them, and we're not talking about like a board game type thing. We're talking about like maybe playing football or baseball or basketball. Maybe he has some kind of a physical problem or mental problem that doesn't allow him to play in those kind of sports. Or he may want to play on a particular day and either it's raining or his friends are not well or he's not well and he can't play. Well, the, the, here he comes into a situation where there's this video game and this video game becomes suddenly his best friend. And the thing about video games, especially the kind we're talking about, usually they'll have some kind of a video movie at the end of the game uh, that you your goal is to get to that. And so you will do practically anything in the world to get to that last video at the end so that you can watch it and say, oh, look, here I am. Well, now, I'm an old-time gamer, and I have this little controller right here. And as you can see, I have my hand up here like this, and this is how I usually control my games, you know, up like this, down across, and so on and so forth. Well, when you're controlling your game with this little ball thing right here, what you're going to end up doing, it, yeah, look at my wrist. See how my wrist is moving like this, up, down, side to side, so on and so forth. Well, that can actually give you carpal tunnel over a long period of time. You do this on a regular basis, you're going to end up with a carpal tunnel. Of course, again, you can end up with a little bit of carpal tunnel because you got these little buttons and you're trying to fire this button or this button simultaneously or holding, holding down all three of these buttons or so on and so forth. So that's the first thing that can come out of having a video game like this is you can end up with a lot of carpal tunnel due to the fact that not only the positioning of this hand trying to move the uh, little ball thing with your, with your wrist, but then on top of that you're trying to hold down button after button after button with your other hand it creates carpal tunnel. And it doesn't take long to do it either. But here's some of the other problems that come from playing video games. First of all, this video game thing, uh, it becomes your best friend. So you, you end up losing friendships and relationships, uh, even in your own family, because you're dedicated to that game. Uh, your grades will go down because you're dedicated to that game. You would rather see the end of that game than to try to do your homework. Okay, so your grades start dropping, and uh, maybe you start getting you 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 go to bed uh, too late at night, so you don't get up in the morning, so you don't go to work, and you could end up losing your job over a video game. Remember, this is just the, the, the pleasure center of the brain that activates because you're playing that video game is much the same as if you're activated using cigarettes or alcohol or some other narcotic substance. Same effect. Well, the thing is, also, because you get angry at the game, and you will get angry because you, you, you lose at a level here, you lose at a level there, you're going to start saying expletives on a regular basis. Well, that, that of course, gets into your social life, and so you're starting to say expletives everywhere instead of just at the video game, and that starts costing you friendships and relationships in a big way. But you also get that instantaneous demand and gratification going on. Okay, you've got to have the video game now, and you've got to have the solution now, and so on and so forth. You're cl climbing all over the internet trying to find the solution to this game so you can play it, so you can get this instant gratification. Well, that starts affecting other areas of your life as well. So now you're trying to get instant gratification from cooking food or or uh, trying to get instant gratification from your friends. Well, your friends can't exactly perform the same way as a video game does. So again, it starts costing you relationships. Uh, you start getting into romantic relationships and you're expecting instantaneous gratification from your from your intimate partner. Well, your intimate partner can't perform like that, so then you're getting even more of this 
uh, losing of relationships. And, and you don't mean to re- lose these relationships. It's just that that instantaneous gratification that you get from video games starts affecting all the rest of the aspects of your life. And there's the addiction. How do you break it? Well, it's not easy. First of all, you're just going to finally eventually hit a game where you really can't solve it. You can't you can't get to the end and you just really get discouraged and you start giving up. Uh, it will affect your eyesight in the end because what's going to happen is that number one, you're going to start living more and more of a sedentary lifestyle which means you're going to be eating improperly which is going to affect your health which is going to cause you to, and your health is as affected like that you're not going to be able to go to work you're not going to be able to go to social activities, so on and so forth. And it's going to affect every aspect of your life. So, uh, you, like I say, you start living a sedentary lifestyle. Uh, your health gets affected because your, your mind is stressing out. It's saying it needs food, even though you really don't need food at all. And so you, you get hungry when you shouldn't be getting hungry because the stress is causing the hunger and, and it's the cortisol effect, so on and so forth. And like I said, it, it's just like a domino effect. One thing affects another and affects another and finally you just you lose everything. You, 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 you lose your means of making income, you, you lose your friends, you lose your education. You're going to lose everything. Okay? And the worst thing you could do is end up losing a boyfriend or a girlfriend uh, over a video game. That'd be horrible. So, you got to think about it. Is, it. is this here worth losing everything in your life? And the answer is no. Uh, you, just, you just have to make a choice. You have to say to yourself, what's worth more? My friends? My relationships? Um my work, my school, or this. Once you get your priorities in place, finally you'll break that addiction. Do I still play video games every once in a while? Yes, I do. And sometimes I take a couple of days on a vacation and I just play myself silly. But I do get smarter about it and uh, I, I do my research before I play a game and I try to make it as easy as I can to play. Um, it's just one of those things you just can't get yourself addicted like that because if you do you're going to lose it all all right uh if you have any further questions leave me a comment i'll tell you more in a future video so stay tuned